Hey guys, Desolate Magic here. We may have seen five different entries today on Daily MTG, but there's one that really stood out. It did not fly under my radar. Oh yes, you may have seen it. It's the Red Bull Untapped Qualifiers this weekend. Woo! Wait, what? Um, I had heard about qualifiers. I still don't know how they work. They refused to explain it to anybody in one central location. But that makes sense. They didn't even tell the people when to show up to the Pro Tour in the GP, like literally what day to get there. And that's like the people who qualified for them. So that's nothing new, but what is new is the Red Bull sponsorship. I think this is the first I've ever heard of that. Now you guys know Red Bull loves to sponsor extreme sporting events and that kind of stuff. That's their dumb corporate image. Then if you're an immature dumbass that falls for that stuff, you can drink their toxic sugar water that will kill you. But besides that, they have been known to also sponsor eSports. They're getting way into that. Um, the normal sponsors that you always see back in the day, the automatic ones, was, you know, like Logitech, MSI, Asus, that kind of stuff. People who make gaming peripherals, gaming computers, graphics cards. I think I've seen some NVIDIA and AMD sponsorships. In fact, way long ago, like 15 years ago, they even used to sponsor LAN parties. I know, because they sponsored one of our LAN parties at my college so that was pretty sweet they gave us some like metal decals and keychains giveaway some prizes um some posters it was pretty sweet so i mean that's cool because it's more money for wizards that isn't coming out of our pocket which means they do less manipulative stupid crap or well one would hope so what type of event is this well i'm still not sure because they keep changing the names uh and how they work and when they are and how to qualify for them but uh, the article actually says the Red Bull Untapped series is now in full swing. To date, we've had two online qualifiers with MTG Arena with prize pools of 10000 each, but that was just the start. For the record, I have no idea whatsoever what they're talking about. The only MTG Arena qualifying thing that I heard of was the top eight people in ranked, and then they went to a tournament where you could win up to like, what, a, a million was the total prize payout, so I think the top was like 75 k or like a good fraction of a million or something. That's the only MTG Arena qualifying thing I've ever heard of. So I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but good news, there are two in the future. So it says uh, this weekend sees qualifiers in Florence, uh, Italy, and Brussels, Belgium. Wait, so it's not on Arena. You have to go to those countries, I guess. Uh, like I said, they don't explain a damn word of this. If you want to try to break into competitive magic and use Arena to do it, Good luck. Good luck getting any kind of details out of them because they are nowhere. It is such a disorganized mess. I mean, words cannot describe it. So anyway, uh, players will battle it out in multi-format events in Modern and Modern Horizons Limited. Oh boy. Uh, the stakes have been raised with these events uh, with prize pools of 60k each. Okay. Uh, what's more, the top two players will be qualified for the MTG Arena Final which probably should say finale, at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in London, UK on August 4th. Pretty cool. If you've never seen, like, pictures or footage of that venue, oh my gosh, look it up. So I guess what they're trying to say here, because, the, like, the last paragraph was, we've had two online qualifiers in MTG Arena, but now they're saying, oh, we're running qualifiers, but it's not Arena. So is this for an Arena tournament? Is it not? What's the final thing? Is the finale paper? Is it Arena? Do you have to travel? Are these people qualifying for the same one? Nobody knows. I'm convinced that nobody on planet Earth knows. So these four qualifying events, the two online and the two, I guess, in paper is what they're implying, they will qualify you for the, uh, I'm just going to say finale. If they're too stupid to put the word finale, not my problem. So um, that'll get you to the finale in the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in London on August 4th. But that's actually a qualifier. <laughs> the overall winner of the Red Bull untapped finale in London will secure a spot in Mythic Championship 6 in Richmond, Virginia. Is that arena? Is it paper? What format? Modern? Standard? Who knows? Who cares? It, it, at this point, just screw Pro Magic. None of the names make sense. None of the dates make sense. None of the locations make sense. I mean, oh, to qualify for this thing, you just have to basically do absolutely perfectly at the qualifiers, which means you have to fly to Florence, Italy, or Brussels, Belgium, then fly to London and win it, and then you'll get the one available spot at Mythic Championship 6, where you have to fly to Richmond, Virginia. I sure hope you have 10 grand and no job. 
but they guarantee it will be an action-packed weekend of modern battles, and you can watch it all live. See the coverage of the Red Bull Untapped events at twitch.tv slash magic and twitch.tv slash Red Bull, which actually, that's pretty cool. I'm sure the coverage is still crap, but uh, yeah, getting it on Red Bull's main channel, pretty sick. So keep in mind, this announcement about what's going on and when and tiny little basic details are coming out July 3rd. Uh, the Florence, Italy event is on July 6th, <laughs> so have fun buying your plane tickets if this is the first you're hearing about this, which is the first I'm hearing about it. Uh, and then July 7th is the one in Brussels, Belgium. Alrighty then. So they start at uh, 9.30 a.m. CEST, which is a very important detail. Unfortunately, they're not going to tell you where they're located, what the entry fee is, if it's open to everybody, if you need a ticket ahead of time nothing they're gonna tell you when to show up but not where or how or anything else fantastic typical typical pro level crap and then like i said august 4th um red bull untapped finals now i already lost interest and forgot but um didn't they say each one of those qualifiers the two that already happened these two will have two people proceeding so is it really gonna be an eight person tournament in the entire giant red bull gaming sphere I mean, I've seen, what, like, three-on-three three league or five-on-five five or whatever the hell it is. Okay, whatever, they'll make it fit the stage, but that just seems odd. I have a feeling they're going to have trouble selling tickets, and uh, it, it's going to be kind of, you know, cheaped out on the coverage. So then they tell us, uh, find out more about the Red Bull Untapped... It doesn't say series, it's just, find out more about Red Bull Untapped at untapped.faceit.com. And I went there, and the first thing I see is it says $200,000 prize pool, which contradicts absolutely everything that I just read on this page. I mean, it's 10, 10, 60, 60 unspecified, so, okay. So if they give away another 60 at the final, then I guess that's 200k. They didn't say that, though. The funny thing is if you scroll down on that god-awful templated crap that every website uses these days, um, it literally says 10, 10, 60, 60. That's it. Bro, that's 140k, okay? That, that doesn't add up. So even the people who made this Red Bull website weren't given enough information to make that make sense. So they even they don't know what the prize pool is or nothing. That's actually pretty funny. Scroll down a little more, it just says $60,000 prize pool. Okay. So I just wanted to outline what just a confusing, disorganized mess that all of this stuff is. It is almost impossible for the average person to plan to and effectively attend one of these tournaments. I mean, just getting there is like half the battle because they won't give you any of the information. Then they have a calendar with like half the information. Then there's this Face It website with half the information and... Oh, it, it's, I'm so glad that I'm not into the pro scene. But on top of that, the real takeaway from this video is, oh my gosh, Red Bull is sponsoring Magic. So that's just crazy. Like, I'm not that surprised because I've seen them sponsor esports before. But if you don't really follow that scene, uh, that might be really weird news to you. Because like HP Omen, that made sense. They make gaming computers, Arena. Okay, I get it. This one, I mean, it's not like they're sponsored by, like, Dyson and they're trying to sell vacuum cleaners. Like, that would be pretty left field. I mean, it's it's energy drinks. Like, them and Monster, they do this kind of thing, I guess. So it's not that surprising. But still, I mean, they could have found a better sponsor, but I know Red Bull actually pays pretty good and they have a ton of money behind them. Because they keep selling caffeinated sugar water to people. And, I mean, I, I don't really like their products. It makes me want to punch customers. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think caffeine causes kidney stones. So have fun with that. So anyway, hope you're all having just buckets of fun playing against all the broken overpowered crap that people are rolling out with from M20 now that there's eight sets legal instead of seven, even though standard's been overpowered as balls since there was about five sets legal. I'm really already not having fun, but I made it to gold one in one day, so I ain't gonna be in gold for long. I'm striking hard and fast while people are experimenting with stupid new stuff that doesn't work, but I did run into two decks that I think are just toxic as hell. So naturally, I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow in all likelihood. So watch for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.